Hello everyone, this is Virin and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the game between Delhi and Chennai. Now this is the last game of the third phase of the leaderboard. So if you're hovering around that top zone, ensure that you make 25 teams and seize their advantage totally. Go with the strategy that we decided, make a few safe teams, make a few risky teams, make a few scenario based teams and win lots of money. If you want to take that one and a half lakh cash prize, that option is also very much open to you along with the grand league that you can also win so lots on offer for you go make 25 teams now so we have a very special guest with us today crick crazy nicks like you all know him nikhil how are you doing and are you set for this last game of the third phase of the leaderboard yes uh, the games have been tricky but again equally challenging the risk have been rewarded so yeah so far so good hopefully it continues and who do you see uh, coming up trumps in this game? Uh, I think it, it's going to be a tricky game purely because Delhi have gone win loss, win loss, win loss. And uh, Chennai have always looked competitive, but they found a way to not be that good. So I think it, it will be a close game, but I'm very keen to see which team bats better because I think teams haven't quite batted that well in the season so far. So let's see. Okay, so let's get to the team then for today. So, yeah. I think first up from the keeping section, I think it's pretty obvious that we'll have to keep Pant in this team as Tony is not really getting much of a chance. Any other thoughts? Uh, no, I think it's uh, pretty much the common sense one that uh, you have to keep hmm. Pant and Tony is not getting enough time in the middle. And when he's getting, he has to do too much. So, uh, from the fantasy perspective, it's not advisable. But yeah, hmm. while batting first, if you feel that uh, Rishabh Pan may not get to bat too much and Dhoni may get to bat a lot, then possibly you can try that option. Okay, fair enough. Then on the batsman, I think uh, we'll have Warner and Gaikwad for sure. And uh, who, do you, who else do you see making the team from this section? Uh, apart from those two, I think Mitchell Marsh has batted really well. Uh, in whatever yeah. his played, he's looked very confident. Uh, yes, he will be tested against Chennai's uh, spinners, but the usage hasn't been that great, to be very honest. Uh, Chennai have bowled most of the power players with pace only, along with hmm. just the one over from Thich Chana. So, uh, the usage will probably determine how much Mitchell Marsh scores. But the fact that he's bowling four overs, that makes him a very tempting pick. So, uh, probably if Delhi are bowling first, I might be tempted to take Marsh because then he could get you jump wickets at any point of time. And, uh, and probably CSK with a flat track too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and CSK have given wickets to sometimes random guys in very charitable. So, uh, mm. uh, good punt because good punt with punt still because uh, uh, he's batting at three. So, it's a crucial spot. Agreed, agreed. And uh, maybe he's a GL captain or vice captain to you. Do you think so? Especially if the pitch is flatter? For sure. Uh, but what, what also depends is uh, the composition in terms of what Chennai play, uh, because mm. if it's a flat deck and Chennai are still playing three spinners, I still feel they may trouble it. But the point is, when he comes in, you have to have spin. If he starts with a space and then settles, then he's he's going to find a way to counter out uh, spin. So how we, how they use the bowlers against him will be crucial. Agreed, agreed. And uh, then the all-rounders, I think from the all-rounders, you have some straightforward choice in Ali and then some out-of-form choices. So, who else do you see apart from Ali? Yeah, because from DC, it's just Aksar and Lalit and both haven't, uh, Aksar is injured. So, hmm. depends whether he comes back. And Lalit, thankfully, didn't do too much in the last game. So, you only have uh, Pretorius and Jadeja. And, uh, I do feel Jadeja's one big game is due. He's, he's, it's not that he's not been in, in good touch. He's been in good touch. You just don't lose it suddenly. It's about confidence. Uh, so hopefully he gets that confidence back and then we'll see a different Jadeja with both back and forth. So I'll back Jadeja there. And uh, mm -hmm. the call with Dwayne Pretorius is if CSK bowl first, I'll definitely take one of Dwayne Pretorius or Bravo. Uh, Bravo Whoever probably plays, in both innings. Hmm. Yeah, Bravo probably in both innings, but Pretorius hmm. predominantly only if they bowl first. And do you see Bra uh, Pretorius getting dropped if Bravo is fit? Because I think all the other three foreigners are now firing on all cylinders with Conway, Thikshana, and Ali. Uh, it's, a, it's a tricky call because uh, they haven't used Bravo's batting. 
uh, and hmm. they haven't they have actually underused Pretorius uh, as batting as well. Uh, I think that is something Chennai has not done well this season, where uh, there has to be more probably more intent with the bat in the first ten overs because you're not optimizing that uh, batting depth that you have. So hmm. yeah, it's a tricky call. If they feel the surface is good enough, they may stick with the same side. So. Oh. So I think we'll keep Pretorius then for now, assuming yeah. that they bowl first. And yeah. uh, do you see Lalit Yadav bowling against the host of left-handers that Chennai have in Conway, Ali, Jadeja, and the likes? If they are uh, 60, 70 for one, and he bowls, he'll probably go for 60. So uh, again, not disrespecting him, but it's just how Chennai plays. With. Chennai have mm. absolutely smashed spin bowling in the past, and they've they've not even let Rashid dominate them. So, hmm. uh, again, it doesn't mean that you can't take wickets. If you bowl well, you can. But the usage has to be very important. When you get in Lalit Yadav is important. Uh, because Mohan Ali and all, they don't shy away from playing their big shots, even if it's a, uh, an off you bowling to them. So, it's about using the ground dimensions and the pitch conditions and the context of the game very well. True. Agreed. Okay. So, I think we have three all-rounders then. Yeah. Then the bowlers, I think uh, you're going to take Thikshana and Kuldeep for sure. And uh, yes, apart yes, from that, we have two more slots then. So, do you see Khalil or do you want to take Fizz if he's back? How do you see the last two picks fitting in for you? Uh, I think Anderson Nokia will definitely be in the side because he's troubled hmm. CSK in the past with pace. Uh, not that CSK are troubled by pace, they handle Lockheed Ferguson well, they handle Umrah and Malik very well. But uh, it's it's a good length bowling right at the top of in, in the start in the power play that has often found them uh, in trouble. So uh, Nokia would be a good option definitely to try out. And Khalil Ahmed, uh, he's been bowling very well. He's been taking wickets consistently. So Khalil could also be a very good threat through Thiraj Gaikwad uh, because we know of Gaikwad's struggles against left arm seam. So yeah. maybe Convoy could be the guy who will probably play out uh, uh, Khalil. So that uh, you know, Ruthra doesn't get to face too much of it. Right. Uh, so I think then we have four bowlers there with yeah. Thikshana, Kuldeep, Khalil, and Nokia. I think Kuldeep yes. also has a matchup with Jadeja, with uh, not with Jadeja, with Raidu in this Raidu. game. I think striking only 102 dismissals, which is something that we don't really see much with Raidu, with him being really attacking against most bowlers. So, do you see that making Kuldeep a little more effective in the middle overs in terms of being a captaincy candidate for your GL team? Because he's in, because he's in form, I'll always try him out, definitely. Uh, I think hmm. it's better to take risks on people who are in form rather than trying to expect an out-of-form guy to come to suddenly. So, definitely he will be a very good option and prior to last game got out to Maxwell. So, it will play on his mind. You don't want uh, two guys like Uttapa and Raidu getting out to a right-handed uh, off-spinner who is actually basically yeah. darting uh, into you. So, uh, they both will be having a different challenge this time around with Kuldi. Uh, Uttapa already has a, a bit of weakness against his spin. So, that yeah. could potentially also be a good one. But again, CSK with the way they are functioning, their batting order is going to be crucial. Who is used where to counter which bowler is possibly going to decide the game. So, uh, definite option for Grandi for sure. Even Raidu as a good Raidu is a good option to try for Grandi because he's been in good form. It's just about those four, first ten balls for him. So, when he's playing pace very well, so if he plays through Kuldi, then it's yeah. all it's a lot of pace in a daily yes. attack which he can really yeah. smash it to. And uh, the other matchup is uh, Jadeja, who's got Pant a few times, but yeah. I think that one is like a battle of attrition because Pant has also hit him for quite a few runs. Yeah. So, how do you see that one panning out, especially if we expect someone like a Warner to settle in and really play a good knock? See, uh, again, uh, it's so surprising that CSK is possibly getting to a stage how KKR is in terms of their usage of uh, mm. people, but at least there aren't any uh, very strange, uh, strange calls. But uh, we have seen Dhoni bowl Jadeja more to Rishabh than to Warner because I think mm. Warner has a lot more options uh, in terms of countering uh, so Jadeja as, yeah. as compared mm. to Rishabh Pant. So uh, that is where I think Jadeja targeted Pant, where he's gone round the wicket and uh, tried to uh, slide across him and then get him to sweep. But uh, I think Pant, given the form is in, you never know how well eventually counter it. But if he does well, if he does well, then uh, definitely it's a good matchup to have. 
Right. So I think we have that. Then who do you see as captain, vice captain after all the data that we have looked at? Uh, I think the safe choices will remain David Warner and Gaikwad uh, purely mm-hmm. because of their potential with the bat. And uh, in terms of the ball, you have a lot of options with Kuldeep Yadav, Thikshina, uh, even Rishabh Pant could be a great option to try out. Okay, I'm calling one there. I feel that Ali can also be a great vice yeah. captaincy choice, especially with Pant and Warner in front of him. Yeah, and possible, possible. Uh, because he's, he's also used well. So last game he yeah. took two wickets and also batted at a crucial position. So definitely worth a try. True, true, great. So who do you see as challenge picks then for you? I, and I don't want to hear Warner and Guy Quarter's answers. <laughs> Give us some X factors. <laughs> so in that regards, then maybe you can go Kuldeep Yadav, uh, Mitchell Marsh, and Rishabh Pant. Hmm. Uh, again, those three guys are in form. Uh, just depending on the pitch conditions, and uh, if the deck is good enough, you can have all three to come good as well. So maybe we can go with like a four kind of a combination with Guy Quad and Warner taking your safe slots, and then maybe we can have Mitchell Marsh and Kuldeep fitting into a risky buy if that makes sense. Yeah, th- see the thing with challenge picks is you know what most mm-hmm. of the guys are going to bring. So if hmm. you take too much risk, I well, it's it, it's a personal call. Uh, I like to go one safe and one risky in that particular hmm. order, so that you're not out of the game immediately if one guy takes off. So uh, yes, four a combination of four with one or two safe ones and one or two very risky or conditional picks as per us. Makes sense. Agreed. And uh, any GL punts for you in this game? Uh, plenty of them, to be honest. Entire CSK middle order is a very good GL punt because you don't know who will bat where uh, and in terms of how many overs they will get. Uh, so, in that regard, somebody like a Raidu, a Conway, uh, a Mitchell Marsh, even Robin Powell, if he's used very well like he was in the last game, he could potentially get a very good uh, 25 ball 50 ball. Mm. And uh, uh, given he, it's not that he doesn't have the power to clear the ropes in China, his bowling hasn't been that consistent. So, uh, plenty of good options for GL in this IPL because uh, everybody is trying new things <laughs> this, uh, this this season. True, true that. So, I guess we have it all then, Nikhil. Thank you so much. And I hope everyone has already joined the giveaway for this game. The code is FCPSUN. So, ensure that you all go and join the giveaway. And apart from that, remember to join us on Telegram for your final team, second innings updates and lots more. All the good luck to you. Happy winning, guys. Take care.